On day one of the US Tennis Open, Amanda Kurtzer in trouble against Arena Spilea here. Spilea up five games to one in the first set, so one of the seeded players in trouble. Our coverage coming courtesy of USA Sports, and we will be returning in just a moment to the clash of Dokic and Sanchez Vicario. Spilea into the net. So let's uh, join our commentators at Flushing Meadows for the first time at the US Tennis Open 1999. Oh! So love 30, 5-1 first set. It's Belair set. So suddenly, having built a very useful lead, Irina Spilea getting a little nervous, a little tight. And three chances for Kutzer to get one of the breaks back. <laughs> Lovely footwork there from Spilea. Getting around the ball. Good serve. That's a big difference between these two. Spillair can use her serve right into the corner. A very short defensive response. And Spillair up to the ball quickly, whipping it into the vacant forehand corner. Still double break point there. Not had a great year, Irina Spillair. A record of 15 wins, 18 losses. Kurtz a much more consistent 35 wins, 18 losses, which two finals beaten uh, Lindsay Davenport this year, beaten Monica Sellers this year. who's normally one of the most solid players on the tour. So consistent, but not today, just can't find the range, hasn't settled at all. So from Love 40 back to Juice. to the net for Amanda Kutzer. Good to see, though. She's quite a good volley up. Puts that one away nicely. Reached the doubles final here a few years ago with Ines Skorochetegi, the lady from the Argentine, who's Steffi Graf's best friend on the tour. Well, there's the incredible speed of Kutzer, but not enough. Lovely touch on the drop shot. Yes. And drop shotting into the wind here, Spilea. Wind's blowing into her face, so that's making uh, it a much better shot. And uh, Kutzer uh, paying the price for going cross court, opening up all the angles. Back to Juice. Just bring you up to date over on the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Elena Dokic, the young Australian, still 4 2 up on the former champion, Arancha Sanchez Vicario. Who incidentally uh, beat Irina Spilea in the only final Spilea's reach this year. That was in Cairo, a new tournament in Egypt. wide and that's five break points that have uh, gone a begging good to see the uh, WTA tour moving into the Middle East uh, the Islamic world it's not an area where women's sport uh, gets much attention it certainly went down very well there the tournament they've also had a 
Women's Challenger Tour tournament on uh, Dubai this year in the United Arab Emirates. Double fault, and it's uh, break point number six for Amanda Kutzer. And what was a breeze, in the breeze for Spillair, suddenly now quite a struggle. Still, of course, 5-1 up, still very much the favourite to take this opening set. That again, a very tentative shot from Amanda Kutzer. Normally loves running around that far baseline, getting balls back all the time, nagging away at her opponent and forcing them into errors, but not today. This game has already taken seven minutes. So six taking just 17. Spillea finally makes it to set point. Good serve. And Irina Spillea takes the opening set. Six games to one. A possibility of an upset here on the grandstand. Let's find out what's happening on the Louis Armstrong. Welcome back to opening day coverage of the 1999 US Open. I'm David Mercer out on the grandstand with the first potential upset of the tournament. Marina Spillea ranked 20, already a set up on the sixth seed, Amanda Kutzer. Kutzer leads 2-1 on serve in the second set. Spillea serving at the far end. 15 love from Tracy Austin joining me. And Kutzer just not coping with these very windy conditions. Somewhat flat-footed, Tracy. That's called wrong-footing your opponent. <laughs> Amanda Kutzer, three times a quarter-finalist here, 94, 96, and 98, and leaving uh, Arena Spillea. You can see that the weight was on her right foot. She was looking to go to that forehand side. This is a tough first-round match, David. I think that when Kutzer saw the draw, I'm sure she was thinking, gosh, Spillea is just such a dangerous player. She has the big serve, huge forehand, Tough slice backhand. It can be consistent. She also can make a ton of errors. You just don't know which Arena Spurlea is going to show up on a particular day. So we're one hour into our 86 hours of coverage of the 99 US Open here on <laughs> USA. Delighted to have you company on this opening day. I wish I brought my sweater though. I don't come to New York to get cold in August. What's going on? <laughs> oh, missed the opportunity. That's uh, unusual for Amanda Kutzer. She, you see the scrambling that she's known for. One of the quickest movers on the court, only five foot two. So she needs to have that asset because she really doesn't have that huge weapon that's going to put a lot of points away. But she just makes you hit those extra shots and you start to overhit. <laughs> So yet another chance for Kutzer to break. Remember, at the end of the first set, if you were with us, she had six points to break. In Spillea's opening service game of this set, she had three break points, couldn't take any of them. You can see, slight difference. How many chances do you need, Tracy? 
tell you, Spirlea anticipated correctly, but Kutza really could have put that forehand away. A shot like that is her bread and butter. Right there in midcourt. Didn't hit it deep enough. Spirlea was there with the forehand. Spirlea does have just a tremendous forehand pattern her game off after Steffi Graf with a big forehand and that slice backhand. She hits it so smoothly. You know, when you're, when you're Kutzer are right here, David, you really got to stay mentally tough and hang in every single point. Make Spirlea make the big shots because you know that she's not as mentally tough as some of the other top players. She can break at any moment. She's a very hot and cold player. When she's hot, she's tough to beat. And when she's cold, she can have big, big losses to lower ranked players. Fault Banks Juice and Arantxa Sanchez Vicario, who at one stage was really struggling in the first set, has turned that around. And Richard Kreitcher going along well against the American Junior Champion oh. this year, winning the title in Kalamazoo. Back at Juice, one-two, second set. Spiller having won the first. Big forehand again, Tracy. Yeah, but look where it was. Kutzer hit the shot right in the middle of the court. Spirlea's favorite shot is to run around that backhand, hit the inside-out forehand. She can go either way. This shot from Kutzer is just too short and right in the middle of the court, right where Spirlea loves it. You've either got to hit it all the way to the backhand or run her to the forehand. Definitely don't keep it in the middle of the court against Spirlea. Spillaire hangs on to it's another game. service game in which she was break point down. Tracy, did you hate playing in the wind? I can always remember Martina Navratilo, but <laughs> loathed it. I don't, I don't know that there are too many players that love playing in the wind. I think that some players just handle it better than others. They let it distract them. They let it uh, bother them. You know, I didn't mind it. I, I, think, I think I minded it less than my opponents, I guess I should say. Actually, David, I played at a couple of clubs growing up, the Jack Kramer Tennis Club and also the West End Tennis Club that Lindsay Davenport played a lot at, and it was like a wind tunnel there. So it's important if, if you played a lot in it, then you got used to it. A lot of the players from Florida, I think they have to deal with the windy conditions frequently. Was it windy 20 years ago when you won here? It was not windy 20 years ago, but it was very, very windy uh, 18 years ago when I beat Martina in the finals. It was like a hurricane. It wasn't a pretty match because of the wind. Let's uh, hand you over to Tracy and Bill on Arthur Ashe. After the replay, of course. Hang on a second there, Bill. We'll be with you in just a moment. See how this long rally ends up. It's Bill there looking for a chance to break. <laughs> well, top marks are trying, but Spillaire sets up the break points. Now, Bill, it is all yours. All right, David. Ben. Because the six seed Amanda Kutzer is two points from defeat, down a set, 6-1, down 3-5, and down <laughs> love 30. Now 15-30, and, and Tracy, you know, six seed going out, what, with the tournament just over an hour and a quarter old, that, that really is an upset really is a surprise because Amanda Kutzer has had solid results this summer getting the semis of Stanford and San Diego. 
headquarters of a couple other events in Toronto and New Haven. And has had a solid year. She just hasn't looked herself out there today. Looked bothered by the wind. Too many unforced errors. Seems to be rushing too much. And that's definitely not her style of play. Her style of play is to stay out there as long as she needs to to drive her opponent crazy and force them to make the air. Double match point. Oh. Miss Kitts has reached the quarterfinals or better in 10 tournaments this year. Spillaya, just two. White up the line. Yep. And Amanda now starting to argue with the umpire, Leanne White. Everything's gone wrong today. Comes from Australia. Well, she's an immensely popular player, Kurtzer, wherever she goes, everyone sort of sides with the five foot two South African. One of the friendliest players on the tour, just wouldn't find a nicer player on the tour. Gets along with ev everybody. And at least hanging on in there. If she could just hold serve, uh, Spilea might just get a little nervous coming out to serve for the match. She'd be serving into the wind. a let because a piece of paper is blown onto the court through the wind. Ball girl coming across to tidy it up. And umpire Leanne White forced to call a let. And we'll replay the point of the juice. 3-5, second set, the sixth seed. Still within two points of going out, having saved two match points so far. Kurtz, uh, her serve is not her strongest strongest part of her game and that's really struggled today as well throws the ball out way to the right of her <laughs> but somehow you feel Tracy if she could just hold here as you were saying earlier Spilea not the, the mentally strongest player on the tour you're exactly right Berlea can play great in spurts, so that's why you tell yourself, hey, just hang in there and maybe she'll go off her game. You gotta just weather that storm, and if, if she keeps playing too well, then it's just too tough that day. And that court doing Kurtz are no favors, coming back on her side again. Quarterfinalist here last year, so this would really affect her ranking. She's ranked seven, seeded six because of the absence of Steffi Graf, of course. She'd drop out of the top ten for sure. She has a narrow advantage in terms of head to head, four three, but here they've played each other twice before, and it's one all. Kutzer hangs on. Spillaire will serve for the match at 5-4. Now then, let's go back to Arthur Ashe, where Irina Spillaire is serving now to put out the sixth seed, Amanda Kutzer. Spillaire, 5-4 up, second set, having won the first. Well, the old nerve setting in, Tracy. Yeah, it's, it's not, not a huge surprise. Let's see whether Irina Sperlea can hold together, serve out this match, just pulls her head down, pulls that arm down too much, hits that one overhead in the net. She's already had two match points in the last game. David, 
you know, this is really where it comes down to the mental toughness, because when you look at the talent that Arena Sprelea has, you just feel that, gosh, if she was had that mental toughness, she'd consistently be in the top five, top ten. But this is where that mental toughness can break down, and Amanda Kutzer does have that toughness. Let's see if she can hang in. That's what she's known for. Kutz has had so many break points in this match and has not taken any of them. Surely she's going to take one of these three. Would you believe it? Yes, we would. <laughs> Kutz, who hadn't broken in the entire match, breaks to love. And the match is wide open again, and that's the glory of the tennis scoring system that Tracy builds to a climax of the set. There are some points that are so much more important than others. And that really shows, uh, you know, it all comes down to so much of it mental. I mean, Sperlea really gave that game away. Kutzer got the ball back, but didn't do anything extra special. Love it. And then suddenly the pressure's off. You can swing the arm freely. The nerves have gone. The tension's gone. And she comes up with a shot like this. Look at this beautiful forehand. Great shoulder turn and swings that right shoulder freely into the shot. So many unforced errors today from Amanda Kutz. It's so unusual. I don't understand it. Do you, Tracy? Why is she playing like this? It's so untypical. It really is uh, not typical for Kutzer because that's what she's known for is just getting so many balls back, making her opponent overhit. You could say from those statistics, well, she's made fewer unforced errors than Spillair, but Spillair is going for her shots and hitting winners as well. Triple break point. Oh. Well. Returning the compliment, an awful service game from Kutzer. And when you come back, Spillair will serve for the match for a second time. Welcome back, Irina Spillair, for a second time, serving to cause the first big upset of the 99 Open. Trying to put out the sixth seed, Amanda Kutzer, but remarkably now, We've had nine straight points against the serve. Tracy Austin alongside me, David Mercer, out on the grandstand. Nice to see it's named the grandstand again rather than Stadium 3. It's more personal, more intimate, like the court itself. Forehand from Spillair ends that sequence coming up uh, on the Arthur Ashe Indeed. Stadium. Carlos Moya from Spain, the number eight seed, former French Open champion, of course, against Dominic Herbati, the man who beat Yevgeny Kavelnikov at this year's French Open. points of victory. Krychek, meanwhile, is cruising along against Philip King, the American junior champion. Two sets to love, and well up in the third as well, I understand, on the Louis Armstrong Stadium. Big serve. Sets herself up with two more match points, and, and I tell you, she's mixed it up well, David. She's been patient when she's needed to be patient in this game. 
Then all of a sudden she comes up with a big forehand. It's just really tough to judge what she's going to come up with each shot. from Amanda Kutzer, races her third match point. As every match point comes by, the next one becomes more difficult. This is number four. In fairness to the Romanian Tracy, she held a nerve at the end. She really did. Really was consistent and patient when she needed to be, and then came up with the goods, especially that big forehand. So let's have a look at the draw. She goes through to play Tamarine Tanasugan from Thailand in the second round. She could meet Venus Williams now in the quarterfinals, and remember what happened two years ago when they bumped into each other. I think we should get Mr. Don King to come and promote the rematch. Plenty more to come on this, the first day of the US Open here on USA.